Half-Life is a Doom-like game from 1998. It revolutionized the way of seeing importance of the plot in first-person shooters. Even though we can't deny its legacy, Half-Life got old and many things like mechanics and graphics needed to be refreshed. In 2004, shortly after the release of Half-Life 2, a group of fans known today as Crowbar Collective decided to remake the whole game using the Half-Life 2's engine known as the Source Engine. It took them a lot more time than everybody expected them to, but finally, in the year 2012, Black Mesa was released as a free mod for Half-Life 2, and immediately it became very popular. Back then, everyone was amazed by its graphics, new level design and updated mechanics, but the biggest flaw of the remake though was its lack of the final chapter of the original Half-Life which took place in another dimension, Xen. Creators of the mod promised they would add it in the future. Three years later, in the year 2015, players still didn't got the missing level, instead they got the retail version on the Steam. It featured many little and big changes. Many people today seem not to see any differences between the mod version from 2012 and the Steam one from the 2015. In this review, I'm going to talk about most of the changes and help you decide whether it's worth paying about $20 or just sticking to the free version. Let's start with the graphics. In 2012 it was groundbreaking and there is no wonder why. Design of each level, texture and animation is really good, even by today's standards. The only problem are two repetitive faces of NPCs. If you thought the Steam version would repair this issue, I have to disappoint you because the Steam version looks exactly the same as the original mod. The only differences are little changes here and there in cosmetic design of some levels, mostly at the beginning, like those urinals, because of changing the version of the source engine, Steam version is also a lot darker, which might be a good thing for some people, but it makes the game look worse in my opinion. Speaking of the new version of the engine, if you thought that the newer version would be more demanding in terms of the hardware specification, worry not, it isn't. When I was buying my copy of retail version, I thought they would fix the optimization a bit, because in 2012 version some locations would make the game to drop some FPS. Unfortunately, the newer version didn't fix that, and it still has some rooms with poor optimization. And it's not the issue with my hardware, I know lots of people with better computers who got the same issues. Let's talk about audio, because there are some differences between two versions. In free one, the HEV suite voice was just copied from Half-Life Duo Firewalls. While in retail version, it is voiced over by a completely new actor. It is also worth mentioning that the Steam version removed that strange walkie-talkie effect from enemy soldiers' voices. On me now! Suppressing fire! Alright, come on, give me a hand here. Which is cool in my opinion. Apart from those, audio is mostly the same in both versions. The most important changes were made in the mechanics. Free version had a bug which caused the enemy soldiers to be inhumanly accurate, making you lose all your health when they started to shoot you. The Steam version, however, not only fixed the AI, but also made the difficulty level to actually change their accuracy level. The Vortigan's enemies are also fixed in the Steam version. This time their response time is a bit longer, making you actually able to dodge their attacks. Weaponry is also fixed. Recoil of the submachine gun was so big it was nearly useless in the free version. In Steam 1 it is back again a good weapon. The pistol is also modified and it works similar to Half-Life's one. So what about Zen chapter you might ask? If you wanted to play it without paying anything, I regret to say that developers announced that they are not going to release a free version of Zen it will be available in Steam version only. The 2050 version 
also includes built-in multiplayer mode which allows you to play on remade Half-Life deathmatch maps. It wasn't there in free version. I'm not good at multiplayer games, but as far as I see, this mode is very similar to what I've seen in original Half-Life, so if you liked it there, you won't be disappointed. The problem might be that there are not many people playing it, but I always manage to find a server with 5 other players. Sadly, there are no bots supported. It is also worth mentioning that Steam version supports achievements, because it's an officially released game. The mod version does include those, but they are not assigned to your Steam account. In the end, I would like to talk about mods for both editions. The free version was the only version available for 3 years. It's a very long time for modders to make a lot of great stuff. In time between release of both versions, we got such mods like Brilliant Surface Tension Uncut, which was an expansion to one of later chapters of the game. Not my favorite was On a Rail Uncut, which also was an expansion to already existing chapter, and the best one in my opinion, Hazard Course, which is a remake of the forgotten Half-Life tutorial. But it's actually fun to play this time, even if you completed game already. The Steam version uses a new version of the Source engine, and because of that many mods from free version won't work with it. Surface Tension Uncut became an integral part of the game, On a Rail Uncut can be found easily on Steam Workshop, but my favorite, Hazard Course, is still unavailable on this version up to this day, because creators of this one didn't know how to use some new assets. Fortunately, there are a lot of great maps out there on the Steam Workshop, like Bravado, Escapade or Thief. There is even a mod that restores the walkie-talkie effect to soldiers' voices. Finally, is it worth to buy the Steam version for $20 for those updated mechanics, multiplayer and mods? In my opinion, it is not. At least not until developers release the missing Zen chapter. I have to admit, fixed AI of the enemies and recoil of submachine gun is a great change, but it doesn't change the fact that paying $20 of something that looks and play almost the same is not the great deal. Maybe if you like to play multiplayer, it makes more sense. And that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed the review. May God keep you in his care.